What's up, Internet? My name is David Webb. I'm Arielle Edwards. We get nerdy nightly. And we thought we'd share it with you. Hades. That is right. Welcome back to the Nerdy Nightly and Claris Tracaris review of Hades, the 2020 game mm-hmm. from Supergiant. I know we're a little late to this one. This game did release in September of 2020 following its early access release in December of 2018. It was an early access for Whoa. almost two years. Did not know that. And I have to say, I, I think all that time was worth it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, we uh, spoiler alert. We both love the game. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, most of our community already knows that. We've both been streaming it and playing it a lot. Um, so yeah, I, 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 that is going to be the general tone of the review. Is that we were very impressed. Yeah, and I think that that shows in the critical reception as well as the like game of the year conversations that have been happening. Mm-hmm. It is not very common for a independent game to lead most game of the year uh, considerations yeah. obviously the last of us part two a triple a title from naughty dog did win the game of the year at the game awards but ign kotaku and polygon all gave hades their game of the year certificates mm-hmm. i don't know if they do certificates but you know what i mean you get a and plaque you get a plaque you get one of those play buttons from youtube um i want one so y'all if Nerdy Nightly ever gets one of those play buttons, I'm going to be a happy, happy little nerd. But Hades snuck up on us because we, we'd we seen some other people play it, but we kind of stayed away from it until yeah. uh, you won the game in another streamer's, the Broken Pirates channel. Yes. You won a raffle. Yes, I did. And we were gifted the game. And mm-hmm. I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll... I, I didn't know what to play on Christmas Eve mm-hmm. for my stream. So I was like, I guess I'll play some Hades. Mm-hmm. And oh boy, have I been obsessed since. Yeah, yeah, I picked up the game about a week later mm-hmm. um, and have hardly been able to put it down. I did two bonus streams this week so I could get my first win against Hades, mm-hmm. which um, between the two streams equated to about 17 hours. Yep. Uh, oops. Um, I'm not mad about it at all. Um, you were Friday night. I was you were Friday ma- night. Or no, Saturday so- morning when you felt your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the like after effects of like desperately like button mashing you know you kind of like feel it in your body but it was worth it if you don't want any spoilers at all if you want to know nothing about this game and go in fresh which i do recommend all i'm gonna say is this game is so good that even though we received a free copy for our pc we bought it on the nintendo switch so that we could both play it at the same time Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so to start off we should mention this game is a greek mythology based roguelike in Mm -hmm. which you take the place of or you play as i don't take the place of that would be horrifying uh if you were like transported there and turned into the son of the devil uh or in greek mythology he's known as hades the god of death and you are trying to get away from daddy you know what i mean he's pissed you off he's upset you and you are trying to break out of the underworld yeah like so many greek tales involve um and, and this game does actually incorporate other characters who have done that, like Orpheus. Yeah. And so you have to fight your way through four worlds uh, to get to Daddy, to escape Daddy, and then die. And st- uh, no, no matter where you die in that, you have to start over from the very beginning. Yes. And you just do that over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. This annoyed you at first. Yeah. So the game at first... Um... When I first opened it and started it up, I didn't think I was going to like it very much. Because you open the game and it, like, throws you right into the thick of it. You start Mm -hmm. by just fighting. It gives you absolutely no tutorial, no sense of what's going on. It's great. And I hated it for, like, ten minutes. I was like, this is garbage. (laughs) Like, you can't can't throw me into a game. Um, I, I had never played a game like this before. Mm-hmm. Um, my go-to are like they're like open world RPG style like this game is so different from anything that I've ever played and so I was so lost for like 10 minutes I was like I don't understand what the heck this game wants me to do yeah and then I died and I was like what the? like I was like I don't get it I didn't realize that dying repetitively is a big part of the game mechanic yeah uh, and so it all became relatively clear to me within like 15 20 minutes how the game worked um, and after that, I thought that uh, how they chose to to throw you into the game and start it, I actually it made sense to me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, 
I, I, I see why you did that. I like it. I approve. But when I was first thrown into it, I was like, what the hell is going on? Well, and what's really awesome about Hades is that every single decision they made, as far as gameplay, as far as art, as far as um, music, especially the music, like every single thing in this game is intentionally placed there in order to tell the story of Zagreus yeah. and of the gods and everything mm -hmm. that else that's there. Uh, I don't want to get into spoilers, but the it's it's so intentional mm -hmm. and i'm i'm blown away by how intentional this world feels yeah it really it, it it feels masterfully created yes um and everything lives in this beautiful synergy in the game where it is entirely immersive despite not being you know true to life graphics it's a very cartoonish art style yes and yet it is so consistent mm -hmm. through every single choice that they made in creating the game that the world is immersive in a way that you just you want to live there i mean yeah. it's hell and you want to live there it's it's really something quite <laughs> stunning i mean yeah i don't know if i would want to live there but it i do find it very compelling and intriguing and the people in it are fleshed out and mm -hmm. well-rounded and um you know they're they were very they paid close attention to a lot of details mm -hmm. I, I also want to commend them on there, there's no easy mode this game is not easy it is unrelenting in yeah. its difficulty at times and because of that your accomplishments feel so incredible yeah like when you actually finally beat each of the four main bosses um the the level of accomplishment that you feel is, is kind of staggering yeah Oh, yeah. I, mm. I beat Hades on stream the first time, and so did you. Yeah. And both of us were both, like, almost in tears at the, like, oh, release of finally overcoming this this gauntlet that you're put through. I 100% cried. That It might have been that I'd been streaming for, like, ten and a half hours, but also, like, it was very emotional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like... mm -hmm. I, we, we've talked a little bit about the gameplay. Um, what, what do you think of the tactical element of the different weapons um my honestly my favorite part about the game is the amazing replayability of it which resides in the weapons mm -hmm. how you can there are six different weapons that you can play as there's six different weapons there's a mirror that powers you up in different ways so mm -hmm. you spend points to power you up um and you can also choose to to kind of reset those powers, take it away, yeah. redistribute your points. Um, but yeah, having six different weapons, um, each with its own unique playstyle, each weapon mm -hmm. gets its own special power ups from all the different gods. Um, so even if you play with the sword twenty times, mm -hmm. your build can be different every single time you do that playthrough because of the boons or the perks that the gods give you for mm -hmm. that weapon. Uh, the the character of Zagreus is related to all the Greek gods. Obviously they're all related within the stories of yeah. Greek mythology. And so they are trying uh, upon finding out that he's trying to escape, the Greek gods do send him their powers to help him escape. Yes. Uh, but they send him different powers each run through. And that, that, the replayability is really what makes this game so strong. Because 100%. I have killed Hades 18 times now, I think. Yeah. And I have yet to do it the same way twice. Yeah. I don't imagine how you could. Each of the weapons has four different, they're called aspects. Uh, they're four different looks, and each look has a different ability. Yeah. So even before you step into your run, each weapon has four different ways to play it. Mm -hmm. There's six different weapons. Like, the, there is an infinite number of... Mm -hmm. it, it's like a deck of cards, right? They say that there's no way to shuffle a deck of cards and have it the same way twice. Yeah. Just because the number of options is just too vast. Yeah. This game has that same aspect where there's just too many possible ways that it can go. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like I have a pretty solid handle on how to kill Hades now, but depending on the build that I go through in a run, I've had really bad runs where like it's dicey and then I've had really easy runs where it's not even a challenge. And that kind of mental game of building your strategy as you go and as you collect the boons from the different gods throughout your run mm -hmm. is as much a part of the game as the actual button tapping of the fighting mechanism. Mm -hmm. And that is, it just makes the game open up in a way that a straight combat game with a similar system wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, a really, uh, another cool way to advance m more so, uh, it starts, you can start and advance the gameplay. You give this nectar that you find mm -hmm. to 
different characters throughout the game and you can give it to the gods. That really pushes forward more story stuff, but mm -hmm. the first nectar that you give everybody, they give you something in return. Yeah. So if I gifted mm -hmm. Aphrodite a nectar, N uh, Aphrodite... Aphrodite's the best. She's hot. She's, she's great. She's, she's really wonderful. Attractive. She gives you uh, an item and when if, if you equip that item, if you take it in into your run, um, it guarantees that the next possible encounter will be for Aphrodite. So if you mm -hmm. have different, if you have specific gods who you like their boons, um, if you want to try and put together a specific build, you can. You're not mm -hmm. really guaranteed it. Um, but if it's, you have something that's familiar, you can try and aim towards it. It really, it really is about this game being a difficult challenge that is fun and exciting that also allows you to play it your way. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it, the, I've just, I've never experienced a rogue like like this. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've never really played a game that is as successful at everything it is trying to do as this one. Mm -hmm. And that's really, that, I commend it in a way that I, you know, it really is one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah. And it is also one of the most beautiful. We, we were talking about, we've been talking consistently since we started playing it. Uh, each world, there, there's four worlds. Uh, you start in Tartarus, you go to Asphodel which is more like lava-y, mm -hmm. uh, Elysium, which is um, these gorgeous, wispy fields. And then uh, the fourth one we won't talk about because that's kind of a spoiler. But, yeah. um, you know, each of those worlds is so incredibly unique, mm -hmm. consistent with the art style of the world that they've built, but unique unto themselves. Mm -hmm. And the the characters are so unique. Mm -hmm. the, the art style is diverse. The characters are very diverse. I really appreciated um, characters like Eurydice mm -hmm. and Ares being um, obviously ethnically different mm -hmm. um, and having, uh, you know, cultural touchstones that, that show off their differences while mm -hmm. also not, you know, making their characters about that. Yeah. I, I felt like they did a really strong job of making this world feel like it related to Greek mythology, mm -hmm. but wasn't rooted in, oh, it's, it's all white people. Yeah. Um, I thought they did a really strong job of that. Mm -hmm. I also feel like the 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 nectar and then the ambrosia later in the game that lets you build your relationships with these characters also tells these side stories that aren't really related to your escape, mm -hmm. but are related to these human interactions between the characters yeah. in a way that opens up the conversation and makes usually in games like this i skip through the conversation it's not important yeah i just want to get to the gameplay i have never skipped a single bit of dialogue in this game because i want to get to know aphrodite i want to get to know artemis i want to know why demeter is the way that she is or why zeus is the way that he is yeah and why you you learn through the dialogue how these characters have interacted in the past mm -hmm. and it is a the, the gods in this game are a dysfunctional family and honestly like if this if this crew cast of characters was in a Netflix animated show, I think it would be a giant hit because it's yeah. so interesting. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Do you think they should make this into a show? Do you think Netflix should like buy this and like turn it into an animated series? Ah. Uh... Could they? Could you put Persephone in an animated series on Netflix, or would that be on Pornhub? You mean Aphrodite? Aphrodite. That's the one I meant. Um. Here's the thing. Ah. Uh... I don't think anybody ever would because it, <laughs> because it would be like one season. Like, you know, you have the main storyline. No, no. I'm saying like take these characters oh. and create like a story. Like, because the design. A sitcom based on the Greek gods. A sitcom. I, oh, I'll tell you about I a sitcom that, that I wrote in college oh boy yeah it's it's similar to that okay. um but uh i was told never try and produce this because uh someone might try and kill you um cool secrets <laughs> uh, wow. who is, okay okay we're going a bit long here who is your favorite character um it's tough right yeah it's tough i mean aphrodite is bae she's aphrodite is bae. she's she is beautiful mm -hmm. um but i love whoever did the voice for dusa dusa's great dusa's, dusa's great. great um meg is probably mine yeah, i love meg I, I thought that might be the case that one wing um i also love the style like how they styled than thanatos thanatos yes um uh he's mm -hmm. he's a character that appears later on in the game um mm -hmm. but each one is so here's the problem i love each one for different reasons there are things about each and every character and the design of it and the voice of it that i love mm -hmm. and that's what i mean by like they kind of left no stone unturned the details are all there and they're all solid yeah 
Um, I, the the bosses are all great too. I, mm. I think that they did a really good job of cr- crafting. And there's a bunch of mini bosses and like all the fighting is fun, mm-hmm. but the four boss fights are so unique and interesting. And the way that your relationship with the bosses changes mm-hmm. as you fight them over and over again is so fascinating. Yeah. It doesn't stray away from the fact that you are starting over and like redoing all these things and meeting all these characters. Cause... Yeah, no, that that's the whole thing. And yeah. they, they lean so in. Mm-hmm. Like they just, it was, this is a game that leans into its premise in a way that I think is hugely successful. Yeah. Uh, like I said, this review is definitely going to be positive. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of great things to say about it. We usually say at the end of our reviews, do you recommend this game? If you haven't figured out what our answers are going to be yet, I uh, don't, you probably had us on mute, but do you recommend this game? A hundred percent. Yeah, I've, I've actually been recommending it to people. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and like, some of our friends are playing it because we've been playing it, yes. which is fun. Yeah, I have had people come into the streams. They're like, this game seems really popular, so I'm like checking it out. I'm like, get it. Mm-hmm. We won it and then we also bought it for the Switch. Like that's yeah. how much we We, we bought a game. second copy so we could play at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we are nerds. I also recommend this game. I think that it is probably my favorite game of last year. Last of Us Part 2 is, is close. It's so tough. The, They're very different because Last of Us Part 2 <clears throat> is heavy. I would give them both 98s out of 100. Mm-hmm. They're tied. But like 98 out of 100 is a, is a pretty good score. Yeah. So I'm going to say buy this game and, you know, we probably aren't going to be streaming it much more because we've played a lot of it. But if you want to come see us stream other games, you can come see me over at twitch.tv slash nerdy nightly. That is also where we do our morning show, the nightly morning show. Check the pillow. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday, where we talk about nerd news, entertainment, business shenanigans, and stuff like that. You can also check out my beautiful, gorgeous, incredible, wonderful wife over at twitch.tv slash Dracaris. And you can follow us across the social medias at those. We are trying to, we're trying to grow our TikToks. Uh, Yeah. We just hit 5,000 followers on the Nerdy Nightly TikTok. So come follow us on TikTok. We're going to be making some really dumb videos over there, but we think they're entertaining. So check it out. I'm laughing. And as always, thank you to our patrons. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Mm -hmm. You are the backbone of the Nerdy Nightly. Mm -hmm. You know that. I'm, I'm repeating myself because I, I, they I deserve to you. hear it again. But we like love deep you down, you already know that. You, you know that. Deep down in your souls, patrons. As we always say, my name is David Webb. I'm Ariel Edwards. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye-bye. Bye bye.